This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Welcome to the uh, first week of October edition of Journeys Chronicles of Our Asian Century. This is your host and analyst and commentator on uh, the uh, developments, uh, Herman T. Laurel, or uh, fondly called, uh, when I was an activist, Ka Mentong. And uh, itong linggong ito po, napakaraming uh, mga issues na kaugnay din sa foreign relations natin. Pero isa po ang uh, talagang nag stand out na uh, mahalaga na ating uh, linawin. There have been many issues this week uh, in relation to the Philippines foreign relations, especially to China and uh, the United States uh, and the key powers of the world. But uh, more significant this week is this item about the uh, yellow media that we have in the Philippines, the mainstream media, the big media, the uh, American-supported, funded media, uh, or, or some of them are uh, mainly uh, American-funded and supported, while the others do still get uh, funding from the Americans. Uh, like Inquirer, Philippine Star, they still get from uh, Omidyar uh, and the so-called uh, investments uh, as a roundabout way of uh, uh, paying them uh, for uh, slanted news favorable to the West. Okay, but uh, itong linggong ito po, ang fake news po na ang grande po eh, itong uh, ito. Tingnan natin ang balita dito sa GMA News Online. Ano? Tingnan po natin the first image. At ito ay lumabas din po, ano? Duterte connects alleged drug pusher to Chinese ambassador. Tingnan po niyo yung quote na nilagay ko dyan. Malino po ang sinabi ni Presidente Duterte, ito daw ah, si, uh, isang, uh, uh, si isang Michael Yang na drug addict daw, ano, which is uh, uh, blah blah blah, pero I think yung ibig sabihin po, no, putang inang, uh, putang inang drug Michael Yang, uh, ang ambassador ng China dyan natutulog sa bahay niya, said Duterte. Uh, adding the, that Yang was part of the entourage of Chinese Premier Li Keqiang. Pero malinaw po yung sa paulit-ulit na gamit ng Dao, ano, eh, nagkikwento si Presidente Duterte tungkol sa kwento ng ibang mga tao at na kwento ni Michael Yang. Ano. Uh, so marami pa siyang uh, kwento doon. Uh, and obviously, uh, ang, uh, kung basahin yung buong talagang speech po ni Presidente Duterte, ano, eh, sinasabi niya, uh, hindi nga drug addict itong si Michael Yang at hindi drug pusher. Ano? Uh, uh, pero obviously, ito ay uh, wheeler dealer ano? na uh, nag-aalok uh, ng kanyang so-called influence, influence peddler pa, ano? na uh, marami naman dyan yan. Eh, ano? And uh, sinasabi nga ni Presidente Duterte, hindi yan drug addict. Kaya daw nilagay niya. Ano, hindi yan drug pusher, ginamit niyang daw. Eh, ano mang, sino mang reporter at periodista, any journalist, when you, a Filipino journalist, reading those, the term daw, which means according to, ano, and he is not saying that he is, no? he is a according to, ano, uh, narrative, uh, this, according to this narrative, uh, this, it is hearsay, ano, that's what it means. But uh, several news uh, sites and uh, newspapers, like this GMA online news, but particularly Rappler. Uh, I, I tried to go back to the Rappler report on this. Uh, it was there already, already their uh, retraction that was on, uh, on the internet. In other words, they pulled out uh, their original uh, misleading report. So did the other papers. No? I could not find them. But 
Anyway, very quickly in the afternoon of that day, uh, well, I, I saw the news report and I really wondered uh, how they could come out with that, uh, such report, but I brushed it off as the usual yellow media, uh, disinformation, uh, black propaganda against China, paid for by the Americans, uh, such as the Albert Del Rosario Institute and the CSIS and so on. So I did not react. I was planning to uh, write about it, have my friends write about it, uh, talk to other people about it, and do this uh, discussion. But it was good that in the afternoon, sa hapon po uh, of that day, ano, yung araw na yung mismo, uh, ang Malacanang, uh, ang Palacio, ay uh, tumugon na, nag-react. The palace already reacted. Harry Roque said, uh, and there are very many newspapers that reported this. Roque strongly refutes media report, saying Duterte had linked Chinese ambassador to alleged drug pusher. Uh, Roque said, fake news, fake news, fake news. Uh, ang uh, konteksto po ng sinabi ni Presidente, at meron po akong video, ang sinabi po ng Presidente, paano magiging drug lord si Michael Yang, eh pa natutulog yung Chinese ambassador, said Roque. Ano? Uh, well, whether uh, this is confirmed that uh, the Chinese ambassador sleeps in the house of ano, of this uh, character, Michael Yang, we, we still have to verify. But that is what a journalist would do, verify everything, all of this, before coming out with a headline that is obviously a derogatory, uh, 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 scandalous uh, slander ano, uh, on some people. Uh, and in this case, especially important person, the uh, ambassador of China, uh, where uh, we are working out uh, the major infrastructure projects uh, uh, for funding, for grants, and so on. Now, if these journalists don't care about the country, which I think uh, that is what they are, no? uh, uh, Rappler and uh, the editors of, I'm not going to uh, castigate the reporters because it's the editors who put the headlines. You know? The editors uh, and the owners uh, gave instructions. Uh, now, uh, they don't care. They don't care about our long-term uh, uh, program and plans uh, of rebuilding this nation, of putting up this build, build, build projects. That's, that's the only interpretation I have because they wanted to sabotage the relationship of the Philippines and China and, in fact, the relationship of President Duterte and the ambassador uh, of China Ambassador Zhao Jianhua, which has been very good uh, and has uh, changed the course of history. Uh, but I am sure Ambassador Jian, Zhao, Zhao Jianhua uh, understands the Philippine media, understands the forces working against the cooperation of China and the Philippines, uh, uh, and uh, took uh, time uh, to clarify this. I think he also, uh, his staff also wrote several of our friends, communicated with several of our friends, uh, Mr. Jun Ledesma of Davao called me and asked me if I know this Michael Yang, uh, and he explained that he is not really very well known in Davao. He is a businessman who has been there for some time, and, and so on, so on, a wheeler dealer. Uh, so a, a journal, a serious journalist, would investigate all this before coming out with headlines like that. Uh, on our uh, Viber group, uh, Diliman Book Club, uh, uh, this uh, elder brother of mine who is, uh, you know has his opinions, uh, says that uh, maybe Duterte's words were uh, uh, ambiguous and uh, no, I said that's not true. That is a very amateurish approach to analyzing these things. This was an operation. You look at the headlines, they're almost all the same. They are quoting from the, sa uh, the same exact lines, coming uh, out uh, with the same conclusions, missing out on investigating and inquiring and asking the other side uh, so deliberate po ito. Uh, this is deliberate. So uh, Roque, I use the Eagle News, uh, so it's an independent uh, site. No? Uh, and then uh, the uh, Malacanang, of course, uh, uh, clarified this. And finally, Rappler was uh, forced uh, to issue a clarification also and the correction. Here's from Rappler, Pia Ranyada's report itself. Uh, Duterte clears wealthy drug pusher, cites close ties to Chinese en envoy, may Malaysia. There's still some malice in that headline. You know, and uh, uh, ito raw Michael Yang. Again, I'm repeating that. You know, Dao, you know, 
who is Michael Yang, ang, ang ambassador ng China, natutulog din diyan sa bahay niya, at saka kasama yan sa entourage ni Premier. And then finally, another rare quote from this report uh, that ma- finally Rappler came out with, ano, hindi yan totoo, matagal na yan sa Davao, ano? Uh, the president said. The allegation is not true that he's a drug pusher. You know? He's been in Davao for a long time. And the, the point uh, Duterte was making in his uh, uh, narration and so on is that uh, uh, this uh, character Michael Young uh, is not a drug pusher. Yun ang malinaw na conclusion kung pakinggan at basahan yung buong uh, teksto. Pero yan, ano, kukuha na itong mga yellow media ng ilang parte na kanilang uh, pipihitin. You know? uh, this yellow media, mainstream media, American-funded uh, media, you know, like Rappler uh, and the others uh, who are very clearly, to me, uh, subject to operations of the Albert de Losario Institute and its uh, operators. You know? uh, uh, selected texts and twisted it uh, for a headline. Uh, so we have to make extra effort to correct this. You know? Uh, there are bigots out there, there are racists out there who will pounce on this and this re- de- de- repost, repost, repost and talk about it and so on. Uh, uh, I think the Philippines and the Filipinos have turned uh, a really big uh, turnaround, has, has had a turn, big turnaround in its view of China and the United States the past two, three years that we have been explaining these issues and uh, China has been demonstrating its goodwill and vision for the future for all humanity. Okay, and uh, of course, finally, the DFA also came out and clarified. The DFA clarifies PRRD did not link drug pusher to China's ambassador. This is from the bulletin. The bulletin did not use any of that uh, story. You know? uh, and uh, finally, uh, bulletin said, to, said uh, around noon today, Rappler pulled out or pulled down the story being referred to by Cayetano and replaced it with an updated version to further clarify why such link was made. No, you were malicious in doing that. But uh, let us say this. Uh, there is a drug problem, not only in the Philippines, but in the whole of ASEAN, in the whole of Asia, in the whole world. Uh, what is clearly established is the Western powers have been promoting drugs, uh, and the United States uh, has uh, increase the production in Afghanistan after its invasion of opium and all these other drugs. And it is uh, established that uh, in further back in history, the opium war, it is the United uh, it's the Brit- Britain that used opium to try to destroy uh, countries in Asia, including China, of course, the main target. But even in the Philippines, you review our history uh, and uh, you will see that the trading companies were allowed to trade in opium uh, into the Philippines. And one of the officers was there, right there, uh, on the street where I was born, uh, no? uh, on Habonero Street, because that was a commercial center, San Fernando and so on. It was a British company. Uh, no? So, uh, now, in the Philippines, there are a lot of Chinese-related uh, individuals uh, that are uh, apprehended, caught, uh, in relation to this uh, drug uh, uh, trade, but note that many of them are really Hong Kong based and Taiwan based. Uh, review all the news. Uh, there are of course other mainlanders, uh, but uh, the uh, com- uh, complexity of the issue should be looked into very carefully. Because the Chinese government is one of the most determined and serious uh, and harshest uh, ang, uh, Ang gobyerno ng China ang isa sa pinakamabagsik laban sa drug trade. Uh, execution, patuloy pa po, ano, ng libo-libo. It's a state secret, of course, how many are executed sa drug uh, problem. No? Uh, and Vietnam. Now, this is the news that um, I picked up uh, two or three months ago, noong August, August pa. China and Vietnam bust major drug smuggling ring. And more than 480 people have been arrested and 260 kilograms of drugs seized in a series of drug crackdown by Chinese and Vietnamese authorities. A joint anti-drug effort by Chinese and Vietnamese authorities has busted a transnational heroin smuggling ring 
with the arrest of a wanted ringleader and his accomplices, China's public security ministry said on Thursday. This report is also in the Vietnamese media. And uh, this is an example of how serious China is working with its neighbors. Uh, and Vietnam is as serious as China in cracking down on this. And uh, uh, so this is something we should pick up. You know? Kaya ako gumawa ng meme. You know? Uh, ito po at aking uh, kinalat sa Facebook at iba pa, and which we will uh, start circulating again. You know? Ito po, pakikita natin. No? Um, 480 people, yung nabasa ko kanina, nilagay ko dyan, yung report from the uh, Asia Times, no? Uh, no August 24, 2018, uh, around two months ago. Ano? And then I said, joint Philippine-China action will win the drug war. Ano? Uh, and so, uh, marami pong kasunduan. There are many agreements between the Philippines and China. Uh, there is a drug training uh, program between Philippines and China. There have been donations of drug, drug detection equipment, uh, drug determination equipment, uh, and so on. There have been billions of pesos worth of drug rehabilitation center. Uh, two in Mindanao, uh, I think uh, one in central Luzon. Uh, uh, and, and so on, but uh, this is not the focus of the report today, so I did not uh, uh, go back to that. But in our previous reports, you will find uh, these particulars, itong mga drug rehabilitation center na bilyon po ang halaga. Sa Mindanao, I think one is in Bukidnon, uh, the other one I forget, maybe uh, Surigao uh, or Agusan. But. Uh, so our key uh, to defeating these uh, drug lords and drug traders is uh, cooperation with uh, the People's Republic of China and the uh, uh, um, uh, Chinese ambassador to the Philippines, presently Ambassador Cao Jianhua. Uh, no, this has been uh, effective. The, the PNP has reported the decline in the drug uh, problem, uh, but uh, you will notice that the yellow media, the mainstream media controlled by interests of the oligarchs here, uh, like Mani Pangilinan, which, who is really one of the tentacles of the Western uh, uh, oligarchic uh, cabal. You, know? uh, you will note that Mani Pangilinan is also in Rappler. You know? Ayalas, the Ayalas are also in Rappler. Uh, uh, and uh, so, uh, we uh, put uh, emphasis on this because uh, uh, this uh, attempt at besmirching, you know, itong tangkang pa, paninira kay Ambassador Sao Tianhua ay uh, may potential na malaking uh, negatibong impact. Remember, uh, uh, the penalty for drug-related uh, activities in China is death. You know? And I understand, of course, when uh, Ambassador Sao Tianhua saw this news item, uh, he went ballistics. He was really, really... Uh, mad, no, not at President Duterte, but at uh, how our media can do this. Because uh, if, if this is even just uh, believed uh, a little in China, he is going to be in trouble. And that's, of course, a big lie that he, we should not stand for, especially, especially from Rappler, and, uh, the online edition of GMA7, and the other papers that carry this uh, distor distortion of a news, this fake news. Well, thank you for listening uh, to this, and uh, I hope uh, you will help us explain uh, the importance of this, exposing this uh, fake news of Rappler and company, GMA Online, uh, and the others. You know. So uh, let us uh, go on with the finest relations that we have had with uh, China, and especially Ambassador Zhao Jianhua, who, has, who takes care of 120 scholars, Filipino scholars, free tuition in UP, and so on, and many others. I've run out of time. Uh, maybe in one episode, I will list all these good works of Ambassador Cao Chenhua. Thank you very much. And